minimum effort art. What is up everyone, this is Jake back with another video and today was going to be a quick tutorial on using markers and colored pencils together. There's a real quick way I like to do it. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty lazy as an artist and I like to rush through things as I have no patience whatsoever. And this is a pretty cool and quick way to, to get you a good looking drawing with minimum effort. Which is the kind of art I like to do. Minimum effort art. So let's get started. So I start off by sketching out the head with my 2mm lead holder on a piece of Strathmore tan mixed media paper. Normally the tan paper I have is, is just that, it's more like paper. This is actually more like board. It's closer to Bristol board than paper. So I really love this paper so far. It's been great. I've done a few pieces on it and uh, I've really liked how the marker and color pencil turns out on it. Then I use my kneaded eraser to kind of erase uh, most of the sketching on there and take a Pigma Micron 05 pen and begin to outline everything. And you'll be able to see here, I don't add near as much detail as I normally would when I ink for the simple fact of I'm going to be coloring it. So I prefer when I color something with marker and color pencil to leave a lot of the detail out and just show value more with color than I do with rendering. Then I take a blue Prismacolor marker. I just pick the color that I would like to be the base. It's a good idea to have a medium tone, so you're gonna have some color pencil highlights that are gonna be brighter than this. You're gonna have some color pencil shadowing that's darker than this. I did a single layer of blue across the entire face, and I made sure I did one stroke at a time. You don't wanna scribble back and forth with the alcohol-based markers, because they will end up getting really streaky. And you can see it's still kind of streaky, but then once I do that, I go over and I go to the areas that are going to be darkened, such as under the nose, because it casts a shadow, and where the eye sockets are, because the brow casts a shadow over that. And then I go and do a second layer. With these alcohol-based markers, they will darken if you do another layer of them, which is why the scribbling shows up so much. Next, I take a medium blue that's really close to the color of the pen I have, and I go over the entire face with that to try to help hide some of the streaking with the marker. And then once I do an entire layer of vertical lines, I will go over and do horizontal lines to also try to help hide the lines of the color pencil. Then I'll go and touch up areas much darker and much harder. Once I've done that, I will take a brighter blue and go over and start touching just the highlights above the brow, on the top of the head, above the ears, cheekbones. And then once I have those down, I will take a white color pencil. I'll begin to highlight it much more finely. The white, I usually don't like to have too much around the face, just enough to accentuate the, the high points. Then I take a darker blue, and the original blue I started using there I didn't really like, so I switched it to a darker blue, and I began adding shadows. And all that's going to do is help boost your mid-tones and your highlights to make the piece pop overall a little more. And once I've done that, I take a thicker Pigma pen and go over the outline to make it a little bit more bold. And then after that comes my favorite part. I use my Uni white pen and I go and just 
barely touched the highest points, essentially in the center of the white color pencil that I had laid down. And then once I do that, I outline the whole thing in white. And this is just something I do. There's really no reason for that, but I like the way it makes it pop off the page. And it really looks good on that tone paper. Okay, so as you can see, very simple, very easy, very straightforward. You just layer a few times. I'm sure I could get much better results if I just took my time and slowed down and worked on something for a lot longer, which I wish I could do, but I don't have a lot of time. I would love to, but I just don't have time to sit and color for hours on end. Uh, between making these videos and actually doing other art and stuff, I, I'm really pressed for time. I would love to sit down and just color something for a week, but I don't really have the time. It's not in the cards. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below, and I will enter you in a chance to win the drawing I drew today. So thank you guys so much again. I really do appreciate it, and keep on drawing on. Later.